what? Nigga, I smoke negative packs, nigga. I smoke negative packs, cause you know how I kick that a fucking knowledge and that fucking wisdom. When it come down to understanding, I give it. Clear fucking mental picture, I deliver. When it come down to building, I be a building, my shielding. I ain't trying to destroy no fucking body. Trying to destroy any of your motherfucking folly. I told you Flacco is a fucking somebody. Fuck my famous. Yeah, okay, we can do this shit before this shit, right? Oh, 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 oh. 55th Street. Make blood clear. Oh, man. It's exclusive right here, y'all. Let's get it busting. We got ODM Slim. What's the deal, man? What's the platform, bro? You already know. Everything positive, man. I ain't got nothing negative to say. You know what I'm saying? Everything good, bro. I appreciate you coming on the platform at the end of the day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, man. You know, so, you know, go ahead and introduce yourself, you know, and let the platform know who you are, bro. Uh, I'm ODM Slim, Ultimate Entertainment, CEO, President. Um, I'm uh, C-Mac. You know what I'm saying? Crip Mac, personal manager. Um, and we got the 50s, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. Oh, uh, dude. That's the business right there. Yes, sir. Man, you know, so, uh, yeah, so give us a little uh, background, you know, for the people who don't know who might be hiding under the rock, who don't know about you, man. Give us a little background about yourself. Uh, shit. I'm shit. Born and raised in South Central Los Angeles, you know what I'm saying? Born and raised in the fifties, my whole life. Shit, niggas know me. I they know me from the streets. I'm a regular street nigga, you know what I'm saying? Um I just uh fucked around and went to prison and um shit and, and just changed my life around shit. Start doing different shit. Like start thinking about different shit to do for me then. And shit just fell in fell in nigga hands. You know what I'm saying? So mm. we doing the shit we That's doing real. for me. For me to keep it spreading that hey, keep spreading this around. Hey, that would it do. How long did you do uh in the joint? Uh six years, four months. Hey. Well, you know, definitely congratulations on you being out and you uh changing for the better at the end of the day. What was the uh the moment that made you change? What occurred in your life that made you change? Um, I had a little situation with the homies. We met a homies, you know what I'm saying? We was on the yard, we had some situations happen, and uh, you know. It was looking like we probably gonna do some extra time, whatever, for me. So it was just like, I just felt like, for me, like, I was I was stuck in that motherfucker. I felt like I was stuck in that motherfucker. And when we went to uh, work the first time, for me, I was like, he, he was talking to me. The nigga talked to me, you feel me? It was like, you feel me? I know that y'all didn't know what the fuck was going on and all that. So I went back to my cell and I was like, man, I just gonna say, after we sent a thing, I was sitting with my cell. I'm like, um, if, uh, like, I get out of this shit, man, you feel me? I'm going to change my shit. Like, I'm going to try to do something different. You know what I'm saying? If, that, if shit don't come my way, I'm not going to go this way. You know what I'm saying? But if shit come my way, I'm going to stand up for what I stand for. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, man, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to just stay out the way. I'm going to stay out the way. Stop being a nigga in the front, yard, front line. Try to be the front yard nigga. So I'm going to stay out the way. So about, like, I think a month later, send me to High Desert. Uh, State prison. They sent me to High Desert. Um, then I just... They, they told me that no, I don't have to go back to court. You feel me? Like shit was over with or whatever. You feel me? We did a little first rest of the little time in the hole. And um we hit the yard and it was uh, you know what I'm saying? I just for me, I went to school, I started going to school for like the business shit. I started doing other shit, you feel me? And my little homie, um, uh, he was rock royal for uh minus behavior, or whatever. So he like, you know what I'm saying, like, I want you to help me do this shit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna just go to the uh management shit. And shit, we we right here today, shit, you know? You know what I'm saying? Hey, that what it is. So, yeah. you know, you got, into, you got into management when you got out of the penitentiary? Well, I, or were you I, I, in I, the I, management when you, when you I, went I, in? I was taking business management and all that, inside jail and all that shit. So I came out, boom, I just, I wasn't really worried about management. I was worried about trying to, like, start a whole label, like, for, the, for, my, for my, my young niggas or whatever. I felt like, why? Why um, keep shopping these niggas to like the industry if we can 
do some shit independent, you know what I'm saying? So we had Rock Royal. We had a couple other little niggas. I, well, my little homies were from the hood. They, they locked up right now, but they was it was hot out here in these streets, you know what I'm saying? So I thought that they could have did it by themselves, you know what I'm saying? And then mm. the ones I got now, they spell in my hands, like, you know, Faso and BS and uh, uh, the uh, Maypoles and C Max. They just they fell in my hand, you feel know I me? Mean? They just came along, like, as they seen what I was doing. I was doing positive shit. They said I was standing what I was standing on. And they was like, fuck it. So, I mean, so how did you run into C-Mac? How you always knew C-Mac? Or, you well, know, how I, did you get in contact with him? I first met, like, while well, we first was on the phone when I was in prison. He came around when I was in prison, whatever. And um, I was on the phone with him, you feel me? I dig his voice and shit, you feel me? So, like, Every time I got a horn and shit, I just like wanted to hear a nigga talk, you know what I'm saying? See the little and then the way he explained the day, explained himself, it'd be so like detailed. So I like I asked what, what's your day like, bro? He like, uh, we're here, uh he gonna tell me it's detailed every part of the day, how you, you know what I'm saying? And I just liked that shit. I was going to prison, help me go to prison, you know what I'm saying? Like listen to cause like even my homies today, like I got homies in the pen right now, we call them just to like hear a nigga laugh, you know what I'm saying, all type of shit. Oh, it's real shit. Mm-hmm. That's real. So when did you realize that uh C Mac had a talent, that he had a gift for rapping? Well, I would consider him a rapper. Right now, I don't consider him a rapper. He's a fucking mm. he's an entertainer to me. He all he entertains. Like rapping is something he's doing secondary that he really catching on to now. He catching on to it. You see me? So like, but it's like he like he entertainer. He like he like pleasing the people, he like a people's champ. He like pleasing people, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like he's an entertainer. He really ain't a rapper. But like mm, that's real. But just doing the shit he's doing now and I seen it, like you could tell he had started like even back then. You could tell like he got started, you know what I'm saying? You could tell like oh he can do something. Even when before he had a tattoo on his face and shit. I mean his forehead. So you knew he was like something, you know what I'm saying? He could do something with him. So when like, he came out, I came out of jail. He was in Vegas at the time, he was rapping. He came back out here after he doing a violation or whatever. He um he just hit me like you know what I'm saying? like he asked me like what the fuck I can't fuck with y'all like y'all shit out the mud. I'm like nigga, I never said you couldn't, you know. I never once said you couldn't do it or whatever. He like uh like like what's up? What you want to do? Like I didn't know really I didn't know what to do with him. Like you know what I'm saying? I know, like damn, do I? He got a tattoo on his forehead. He got all this shit going on. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, do I, what do I do with the nigga? Like, so I'm like, fuck, sitting there, like, fuck what I do. Then I'm like, like, all right, I'm gonna just help him learn how to, I'm saying, rap and all that, because he'll say he be off cadence sometimes and all that. So I'm like, I'm gonna get him around some the rapper, the niggas that really rap, he's gonna get on cadence, he'll do this. I've treated, see, back in the beginning, like, the baby, like, we're gonna, we're gonna baby him, we're gonna get him on certain tracks, we're gonna try to do certain things. Then C Mac became the gym. He became the front runner. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, so it's like everything we do, yeah. it's like, you know what I'm saying? First of all, it's new to us. Everything we do is new. We, don't, we ain't did this shit 13, 14 years, been in the game, been dropping down. None of that. None of that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, we just learn this shit as we go. See? The shit we doing this nigga from That's promotion and, and, and grinding. That's it. You feel what I'm saying? That's real. So, so you was around. So you was around when he got the tattoos on his face and everything. Right. Did you did, well, ever just the five of us? Yeah, he had the yeah. five of his face already. You got that. The forehead tattoos. I remember we first got the, the forehead tattoo. Yeah. What was the first thing you told him when you seen it? When I seen it, I seen it from I think a picture. I believe it was a picture, and it's like God damn, like whoa, like he really was like. <laughs> like I'm like, damn, you know, I'm like, that's my little bro. Like, so I'm like, damn. But it's like, you know what I'm saying? I understand it. So it's like, ain't like he the only nigga out, out here in LA, period. Like, got this shit. This nigga's got this shit, got blood mm -hmm. like, on their face, all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't like this, some new shit. It's just new to out of towners and different people that's not with this gang culture. You know what I'm saying? That don't know the gang culture. And, but it's every hood that's got real. like this, got all of their face and I'm talking about complete faces and all that. You know what I'm saying? So I know a gang of people mm -hmm. like that. And, and shit. It was some niggas in the game. If you know Baby Bond from, uh, I think he's from Fruit Town or West Side, whatever. I don't know where he's from, really. 
Uh, he from one of Peter Paru, but nigga, he was fucking with uh, with uh, he was fucking with, he was fucking with uh, I think uh, damn, I think ten seventeen Brick Squad Monopoly when it was with uh, all the little shit with the uh, the Bloods and all that shit. He yeah. had his, his whole face to hit. You know what I'm saying? He might have no disrespect for his face. Mm -hmm. He got complete faces, but we got I know niggas out here, bro, with very disrespectful shit on their face. You know what I'm he got it what he got. Real um, talk. He got he he got some that's disrespectful, but it's niggas out here with disrespectful shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just kidding. That's real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So who so uh Crip Mac always speak on a brother's name, baby uh snaps. Oh, he was in do, here. Do you know him? He, yeah, that's my boy. That's my that's my nigga. He was he just he was in here. Okay. He probably here still. Straight up. Okay. Hey, shout out Baby Snaps, man. Yeah, he be, like, real talk, he man. I seen, I seen his name when it, we first opened up. Okay. Hey, that, you know, <laughs> Loco Santana rocking out with him. Hey, you know, so what's sure, the sure. Uh, what's the legacy that you want to uh, leave? You know, what do you want everybody to know ODM Slim for at the end of the day? Uh, I want to be known for real. I want to be known for the person, the game banger. Game, remember that we invented this whole community, like all this shit over here. Like, I want to be the nigga like that Nip was to the '60s. You know what I'm saying? I want that same type of aura. You feel me? Building the community up, getting mm -hmm. this black stuff going on, like uh, helping black businesses and all type. You know what I'm saying? I want that. You feel me? That's what it's about. Cause I did. If niggas know me, they know I did a lot of destruction in these streets. You feel me? And it ain't cool to even glorify, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? But a nigga just want to build this shit up. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I can touch my community plus other ones, like, for sure. That's what we was aiming for. Downtown LA, our community. That's what we was going for at first. You feel me? But we, it's, it, we seem like it's getting bigger than, you know what I'm saying? Us, period. So we gonna go for the whole shit. So yeah, we can touch all the America. We, That's we, real. If we can do that, we can do that. You feel me? I'm with it. No. That's real. Did yeah, you uh? Did... You say? I'm sorry. I'm gonna say I'm out. I'm gonna say I'm out. Because niggas got here. I'm black activist. But I'm not none of that type of shit. Say. I'm a young black nigga from the streets that feel that these we gotta get back to the shit because if we don't, these kids are keep getting lost, and that's just what it is. Mm. That's real. Did you know Nipsey Hustle? I knew Nip. Did you know like, Nipsey? Yeah, Nip. Like on the, I grew up over here. Like I grew up. On oh, Ninth Avenue and all that, yeah, I knew Nip my whole life, uh, growing up. Hell yeah, like we and Nip, like Nip a street nigga, like bro, real shit, like Nip a street nigga. And I know Nip on the street shit, like I seen Nip career blow up on some other shit, but Nip was like we street niggas. You feel me? Like he the same nigga. He see me pull over. That's he like we the same nigga. So it's like I I see what it is now. Like me doing this shit with Smack and all that shit. Like oh, people see you differently, but. When you know a nigga, know a nigga, it's like, that's bro. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, that's bro, nigga. I, mm -hmm. The shit he did, though, the shit he did, it's, it's monumental, bro. It's like, you got to remember this shit, and you got to keep this shit going. Like, on the real shit, he put out, you know what I'm saying? This nigga really doing this thing out, you know, and, it's, and it's going, bro. And I, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? We're going to keep it going, bro. That's real. You know, so uh, when I be seeing... Uh... Crip Mac giving out the food to the homeless and doing all those things. Do you be uh, with him? I be most of the time. Like, I'm a full-time father. Right? I'm for, I got my baby. I'm a full-time father. My baby mama in jail right now fighting a double hot one, all type of shit. So mm. I'm a full-time dog. So I can't be there every time. But a lot of times I'm setting shit up. We plan for the food. You know what I'm saying? I, I jump out. I'll probably be there. You know what I'm saying? Boom. I'm setting everybody up. I'm the nigga behind the scene. I'll be trying to get everything going behind the scenes so we can do this. And he be safe too, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of times I do be there, yeah. Hey, that's real. I take my hat off to y'all sure. brothers for giving back to the community at the sure. end of the day. Yeah, for sure. You know, so, yeah. So when did you uh, realize that uh, Crip Mac was a star? You know, that he, that he was worldwide. You know, that he um, went viral. When did you realize uh, that? He was, I, he was going viral. When I, I knew he was a star, bro. It's when he was in the county jail. He was in county jail, bro. Um, and after he squabbled, this niggas he was squabbling or whatever. And he got on the phone, and I was, we was on live, whatever. And he was like just talking, and I heard the whole tear, screaming, five, five, crit. 
it was like, damn, it's, you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's bigger than us, bro. Like, that was like some, oh, all right. You feel me? Like, all right, we got to, because I'm mad my homie fighting this shit, you know what I'm saying? All that type of shit. But then, like, I ran a phase. I did this, I did this. I'm like, all right, for sure. But then we hear niggas like, hey, which, 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 what's y'all uh, page and what channel y'all on and all this other shit. And they tuning in, got their baby mamas tuning in. They said, do this, that, shout out this, and that. And he shouted out niggas in jail. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's big. It's getting big, fool. I like, you know what I'm saying? I, that shit made me feel good. That's real. That's definitely real. Yeah. Uh, speaking of uh, catching fades and fighting and stuff, don't uh, C-Mac get a fight coming up? He got, yeah, he got a fight. We, got, we already had a short fight. But we had a, we had a blue fight. We gonna, uh, you break, you're breaking up, G. Oh, you hear me? You hear me? Can you go? Up? Yeah, can you say it again? I said, uh, we had we had multiple fights lined up already. So uh we had blue we had blue face and all that going on. But some shit going on with with, with, with Rat one hundred, so I ain't fucking with him, so we, we ain't fuck with that man at all. So we put that in the back, you know what I'm saying, in the back channel. We hope we get milk seven four with somebody who say we can get this out the way with niggas and put these guns down and do it real big, you know what I'm saying? But right now we got M and S, you know what I'm saying, we're gonna blow this nigga career up. He been, he been trolling C-Max for about four months, three months. You feel me? He want to fight so bad. We're going to give it to him. We're going to get him pumped up. We're going to get him, you know what I'm saying, a trainer and all that. So, you know what I'm saying, if you're in that Vegas area or that, if you want to say Texas, here don't nobody know where you Y'all in that area, y'all want to train somebody, get something in the bag, you know what I'm saying, tap in with me, you know what I'm saying, real shit. Get him on his size and get his size up, and we can get this event going. I'm a, uh, I talked to Kenyo earlier. Kenyo want to jump on there. I don't, I don't know if we for sure put stats in King, yo, but we got a couple of clubhouse little issues. We want to get out the way. You know what I'm saying? We'll be, mm. we'll be, we'll be the first to do it. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be the first to do it. So this is a bag for everybody. You know? That's real talk. So, I mean, so the uh, Milk 7 uh guy, he, he really considering no, uh, no, he, fighting? He, he, uh, said, he said he, oh, he, just, he said He said it, right? He told somebody that on, 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 on our mm -hmm. stages and clubhouses. That he'll take the fight, that just give him a bag, he'll take the fight. So I'm willing to set that up. I'm willing to just put the bags of milk. That's real. The milk. You got you want the bag, you can get the bag, you can get the fight to him, Crip Mac. You know what I'm saying? We get him up for the calabashes, police there, all that. On some regular money type shit. No, we ain't gonna do no no weird shit, you know what I'm saying? Let's get it in. Do it for the culture. You said you one of us. You trying to be one of us so bad? Yeah. Come on, let's do it for the culture. You want to want to put be the face of Hoover? You know what I'm saying? You might as well just do it for the culture. You know what it is? Hey, that's real at the end of the day. You know because saying? you know that's one of the main people. That's one of the main people. You know, one of the bloggers who was trying to sabotage uh, Crip Mac. He's he, he got him DP. He got this and that happen. So yeah, you got all this shit going. You saying all this shit? I just squabble the nigga. It's simple. Squall with the nigga. You put up on Adam. He better got we was near when he put up on Adam. Right. Nigga. Yeah. Nigga, yeah, he was looking a little shaky then. He shaky then. He's a blogger. That's yeah. Blogger. You got the nigga like you got the nigga like Bosco. He ain't nothing but a blogger. Punk ass blogger. You know what I'm saying? Shit. But you gotta get on these niggas like that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but you already know. You you know, bro, be wanting the clout at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Crip Mac is one of the uh, the hottest names out right now, and you know he blowing up. Yeah. So you know, milk, being milk, he gonna try to you know milk the situation at the end of the day. He saw you know milk. That's the thing. He but, milk, uh, he fuck up. Yeah, he definitely sour milk. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. This nigga sour definitely. milk. Yeah. And you try to represent something. Might as well, you put yourself out there. It's Hoover Street and all that. You put yourself. You want to be a Hoover bad, you really not from Hoover. We know that. You're not from Hoover. I'm damn near more from Hoover than you is, nigga. Fuck mm. you. <laughs> you ain't even been to L.A., nigga. Stop playing with me, weirdo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, nigga. Weird ass, nigga. This nigga, we got to. We know where you at, nigga. I don't want to bring no funk to you. Let's do it for the culture. Mm -hmm. Let's do it for the culture, bro. That's real. That's what I'm saying. Like, nigga, come on, bro. Hey, that, that's all they got to be said. And then we yeah. get back. Everybody, and get everybody, back. everybody could. I'll probably just get up. You know what I'm saying? We can, we can yeah, have multiple yeah, fades yeah. for him because, you know, so a lot of niggas want to fade him. Him, Boston, yeah. Rat 100 is the most want to be faded today. You know what I'm saying? 
That's the we, I did a survey. Them the three phase everybody want. Real talk. And you know what I mean, uh niggas that try to get that wax nine hundred and he ain't yeah, I ain't he, seen him catch one phase. Listen, bro, one. you put it on Paru a million times. On Paru, I'm gonna squabble you. On Paru, nigga need a DP by the Paru's, nigga. Fucking weirdo. Mm. Straight up. Ass, real talk. Hey, that's real talk. Real, real shit, man. So, I mean, what, uh, what, what happened with the, uh, with Wack 100 getting C Mac out of jail? Man, because we, you know we don't need uh, that man. They were saying he was, he was, right? They were saying he was putting his money like he asked C Mac. You know, he asked Lupe or whoever he reached out to. You know, hey, I got the money. You know, I bail him out. You know, he, he never he said been in jail nobody. all these hours. He never said nobody to nothing. He never told us mm -hmm. nothing. Never came and said, "Hey, look, can we do this? I'm gonna do that." None of Nigga, man, listen. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's up? Tell Bosco what's the deal. Oh, he got it. Oh, no. He, 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 listen, bro. Bosco said he wanted to follow. He just cussed me out on, on Clubhouse the other day. Bosco got the problems already. He wanted he can get the issue. No, but uh, that like, this was real shit, bro. If a nigga was, listen, I just wanted everybody to know the world. If a nigga was dreaming to doing something, you would never put his information out there. He would just did it, knew he had a hold. And like I try to build C Mac out, y'all, but he had a hold. Everybody know this, right? But no, put his information out there, all that shit, bro. That's some rat shit. That's what it is. Niggas trying to take up for him. Oh no, he was trying to be. If I was trying to be good, I could have had my lawyer call, right? And they gonna tell him, hey, he got a hold on him. That was dead. It was dead there. It was dead there, right? Come on, man. But nigga, all right. this extra yeah. shit. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, this is what niggas don't understand, bro. This is what niggas don't understand. Wack 100 had one of the hottest niggas, you know what I'm saying, Crips in the game. Well, he the hottest Crip, right? Young nigga, right? Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, his the hottest Crip go down some because guess who was coming out? Crip Mac. Mm -hmm. So now you have to destroy this nigga some type of way. You do all that shit to try to destroy him. Every time you say anything you do, oh, I, would, I wouldn't talk about it like that. Every time, that's why him and Chris Mack had multiple situations. You know what I'm saying? Because he could mm -hmm. find ways to pick at him, but not knowing we street niggas, bro. We're not entertainers. So that shit you're trying to do, my nigga, going to get you hurt. And that's just what it is. And so now he sees it. So he's trying to, oh, I'm going to have somebody else do it. I'm going to have these other niggas pick at him. Oh, there's locos and these other niggas. You know what I'm saying? And all the niggas can come and get mm -hmm. the swallow. I would beat all them niggas up. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. that's just what it is. You niggas be, all these niggas talking, and it's like, I'm the type of nigga, bro, I'm releasing this from the streets, bro. So you can say this and say this and this and that. And then when you see me, you be like, oh, bro, with this and that, I'm going to steal cream you. I'm going to cream you. Real talk. That's just what it is. I'm not going to, oh, I was industry shit. I'm not an industry nigga. I'm not an entertainer. None of that. This mm. shit, we didn't, we didn't, come in, we didn't want to do this shit. This shit just dropped in our hands. Boom, it blew up on us. So we're gonna just we're gonna take it for what it is. Straight up. We're gonna take it for what it Real is. Real talk. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep uh, preaching to these kids. We're gonna keep trying to get these kids out of off this bullshit. We're gonna keep the mental health going and all that. And that's what it is. So we're gonna look out for the homeless people and that's look out for the kids and build a community up. Other than that, nigga, fuck them niggas. Straight all right, that's what it's about. Hey, what's up with um Coach Warren, who is Coach Warren? Like Crib Mac keeps seeing his brother name. You know what I'm saying? I seen him come on the platform before, but what's up with Coach Warren? Like, what exactly Coach do Warren he do? Ultimate, Ultimate Entertainment. Coach Warren is a part of the team. Coach Warren is like my road dog. We have like five, 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 out right now. It's like four of us. You know what I'm saying? We grew up together, and we're doing different things with our life. So Coach Warren, is a, he's, a, he's a program time five. He's a coach. He's a trainer. He's all that. So my business part is CFO. He everything. Mm. Yeah. Real shit. That's real. That's what it do. Because you remember, uh, it was people out there, you know, sour milk. He was saying that Coach Warren didn't exist, that, you know, Crip Mac was – Making it up, making it personal. If you look at program time five.